In the mountains of southern Bavaria, on the slopes of the Oberzalzberg, Adolf Hitler built his retreat, the Berghof. Here he would relax by watching feature films, on one subject in particular. China to Afghanistan, there's a movement to get all the little kingdoms into one great confederacy against us. Good Lord, machine gun. Man kam immer zu sprechen, dieses gewaltige englische Weltreich, was doch so ein verhältnismäßig kleines Volk, hat er gesagt, doch sowas gründen kann und bewirtschaften kann und in Ordnung halten. To Hitler, the British rule of India was perfect proof of the superiority of the Aryan race. Later in 1941, he said, Let's learn from the English, who, with 250,000 men in all, including 50,000 soldiers, governed 400 million Indians. What India was for England, the territories of Russia will be for us. Yet in 1939, Hitler ended up at war with the country he most admired, Great Britain, and allied to the country he most wanted to colonize, Russia. How did he end up fighting what was, from his point of view, the wrong war? On the 30th of January 1933, the same day Hitler became Chancellor, the Nazis paraded by torchlight in Berlin. After the years of unemployment, inflation and political uncertainty, Hitler promised Germany would be reborn and national pride restored. Germany would be a world power once again her foreign policy decided in a new way, by the desires of one man. And every true German, especially the Nazi stormtroopers, now had to be obedient to the will of their Führer. And all this is Deutschland is nun erwacht. Aber wie alle Leute sah man in den, in den Nazis, so wie sie sich präsentierten, eine gute Ablösung für die bisherige Weimarer Republik. Under Hitler, the German armed forces would have all the guns, tanks and planes they needed. And more besides. 
Also, die Aufrüstung half, half dabei, den Rest der Arbeitslosigkeit zu beseitigen, sodass die, das ganze Volk voll arbeitete, voll verdiente, voll ernährt, ernährt wurde. Das zweite war die Aufrüstung, dass man die Schmach der Entwaffnung letzten Endes beiseite schieben konnte und dass man dann wieder eine normale Armee hatte, sodass man sagt, gut, wir sind wieder ein gleichberechtigtes Volk. These armaments were paid for by a series of sophisticated loans which mortgaged Germany's future. The plan was masterminded by Reich Minister of Economics, Jalmar Schacht. Schacht war ein überintelligenter Mensch. Er war für meine Begriffe wohl der bedeutendste Währungssachverständiger seiner Generation. Ich glaube, dass man Schacht im Anfang ziemlich frei hat schalten und walten lassen. Hitler wasn't interested in how Schacht was working this apparent economic miracle. In a typical example of how he dealt with his subordinates, he simply told Schacht to get on with the job any way he liked. He later said, I have never had a conference with Schacht to find out what means were at our disposal. I restricted myself to saying this is what I require and this is what I must have. Hitler was obsessed with the idea of the survival of the fittest, and Goebbels' propaganda films reflected this obsession. Hitler believed human beings were simply animals, and that the strongest animal would always win. If his subordinates were strong enough, then they would succeed without his help. Und in ihrem Walde hätten beide so ruhig weiterleben können. Aber liebes Fräulein Volkmann, ein ruhiges Leben ist doch nirgends in der Natur zu finden. Aber Herr Professor, es fressen sich doch nicht alle gegenseitig auf. <lacht> Wenn auch das nicht gerade. Aber sie leben alle in einem ständigen Kampf. Dabei wird das Schwache vernichtet. Just as it was with animals, so it was with great men. And even whole countries. Hitler believed the entire world was locked in a permanent struggle in which the stronger must prevail. This was the theory he developed in Mein Kampf, the book he had written in 1924. In it, he also wrote that the Germans were a nation who needed to expand. Like the British, they needed colonies. And he was clear where they should find them. We are putting an end to the perpetual German march towards the south and west of Europe and turning our eyes towards the east. And when we speak of a new land in Europe today, we must principally bear in mind Russia and the border states subject to her. Destiny itself seems to wish to point the way for us here. In the years immediately after he became chancellor, though he never publicly said he wanted to conquer the east, Hitler did repeatedly state what he saw as his country's central problem, Germany simply wasn't big enough. We have not their colonies. We have not all the possibilities of international world connections that these states and countries are to own. We must make our reich in which we are so beengt und so wenig Lebensvoraussetzungen besitzen, sorgfältig überlegt, bearbeiten und bewirtschaften. Wir kommen ohne Plan nicht aus. Deutschland, Sie heil! Sie heil! Sie heil! Hitler did openly announce one foreign policy goal. He wanted, as he saw it, to right the wrong of the Versailles Treaty, by which Germany had lost territory at the end of World War I and was restricted to an army of 100,000. At that time, the young people were enthusiastic and optimistic and believed in Hitler and thought it was a wonderful task to overcome the consequences of the First World War and especially the Treaty of Versailles. So we were all in high mood.
To help overcome Versailles, the Germans looked to the English. England and Englishmen were widely admired by the German ruling classes. They embraced what they took to be the ideals of the English gentlemen, country estates and fox hunting. I always hoped, I always hoped that England, yeah, I'm talking to you as an Englishman, that England would see what Germany was planning to do, was building up too much, and would agree in sharing Europe or whatever the, the politics. Whilst the English may not have wanted to share Europe with the Germans, they and the rest of the British did think some sort of accommodation should be reached with their former enemy. The general view in Britain was that the French had imposed, and we had obviously been connected with it, imposed too harsh a settlement on Germany in 1918, and that... Um,